Look where you're going, dear. Look where you're going. I'm so sorry. Two bunches of violets trod in the mud. A full day's wages. Billy. Billy. Go and find a cab. Yes, Mother. Ah, with your son, is he? Well, if you'd done your duty by him as a mother should, you wouldn't let him spoil a poor girl's flowers and then run away without paying. Well, go about your business, my girl. You wouldn't go off without paying either. Two bunches of violets trod in the mud. Sure. Good heaven. Oh, sir, is there any sign of it stopping? I'm afraid not. It's worse than before. Oh, dear. If it's worse, it's a sign it's nearly over. Cheer up, Captain. I have flowered off a poor girl. I'm sorry, I haven't any change. Oh, I can change you half a crown. Here, take this for tuppence. I told you I'm awfully sorry. I haven't. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes. Yeah. Here's three halfpence, if that's any use to you. Thank you, sir. You be careful. Better give him a flower for it. There's a bloke here behind that pillar taking down every blessed word you're saying. I ain't done nothing wrong by speaking to the gentleman. I've a right to sell flowers if I keep off the curb. I'm a respectable girl, so help me. I never spoke to him since I asked him to buy a flower off me. Oh, don't stop. What a little bit of noise. It's detecting you down. You're making an honest deal. Who's doing all that shouting? Where's it coming from? Where's it coming from? You, you silly girl. What you take me for? I'm oh, my Bible elf. I never stop shut a word. Shut up, shut up. Do I look like a policeman? But what do you take down me words for? How do I know you took me down right? You just show me what you wrote about me. Oh. What's that ain't proper writing? I can't read it. I can. I say, Captain, now buy your flower off a poor girl. Because I called him Captain. I meant no one. I said, don't let him lie, Charlie. Give me four Charles, words. I'll make that. I'll make no what... charge. Really, sir, if you aren't a detective, you'd begin protecting me against molestation from young women until I ask you. Anyone could tell the girl meant no harm. He ain't no dick. He's a gentleman. Look at his boots. How are all your people down at Selsey? Who told you my people come from Selsey? Never mind, they do. How do you come to be up so far east? You were born in Lisson Grove. Oh, officer, am I leaving this and grow? It wasn't fit for Pete to live in, and I had to pay four and six. Live where you week. like, but stop that noise. <laughs> come, come, he can't touch you. You've a right to live where you please. <laughs> I'm a good girl, yes, I am. Where do I come from? Hoxton. Well, who said I didn't? Blimey, you know everything you do. Are you, sir, do you think you could find me a taxi? I don't know whether you noticed it, madam, but it stopped raining. You can get a motor bus to uh, Hampton Court. Well, that's where you live, isn't it? What impertinence. Here, <laughs> tell him where he comes from. You want to go fortune telling? Cheltenham, Harrow, Cambridge and, uh, India? Quite right. Yeah. Yeah. Blimey, ain't a tech. He's a blooming busy boy. I may ask her, do you do this sort of thing for a living at a music hall? Well, I have thought of it. Perhaps I will one day. He's no gentleman. He ain't interfere with a poor girl. How do you do it, may I ask? Simple phonetics, <laughs> the science of speech. That's my profession. Also my hobby. Any man can spot an Irishman or a Yorkshireman by his brogue, but I can place a man within six miles. I can place him within two miles in London, sometimes within two streets. Thought to be ashamed of himself, unmanly cow. Is there a living in that? Oh, yes, quite a fat one. He mind his own business and leave a poor girl. Woman, cease this detestable boo-hooing instantly or else seek the shelter of some other place of worship. I've a right to be here if I like, same as you. Woman who utters such disgusting and depressing noises has no right to be anywhere, no right to live. Remember that you're a human being with a soul and the divine gift of articulate speech. That your native language is the language of Shakespeare and Milton and the Bible. Don't sit there crooning like a bilious pigeon. Ah!